Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Jason, and on today's video, we're gonna be checking out this BC. Um, I built this BC three years ago for a friend of mine, and he's been having some issues where the games will crash after like 20 minutes, 15 minutes of playing games. But now we have a bigger issue on his hands. He uh, said that the PC won't start, won't turn on. So in today's video, we're gonna be diagnosing it to see what's going on. Maybe it's a dead power supply or something of the sort. But let's see, let's find out. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and uh, yeah, share your voice content. All right, so I got my power cable. I'm gonna mm. unplug this PS4 right here. Mm. And of course, we're gonna be using the TV. Mm. All right, plug it in. All right, get my HDMI cable. Okay, graphics card is right here. <laughs> yeah, pro tip, but uh, if you have a graphics card, if you get a PC and you got a graphics card, do not plug it into the motherboard. You won't get anything out of the screen. So that's tip number one, to make sure that your computer is booting properly. Anyways, um, okay. Tip number two, um, if you can look back here, very, very closely. So, uh, power supply will have a switch like this. Make sure you turn the switch on. That's tip number two. Tip number three, make sure that your cable is good, nicely tucked in there. Um, if it's like, you know, partially in there, you won't get any power. And uh, going forward, um, some motherboard, some uh, power supply have this little, like a second switch. Hold on, let me see if I can find an example. All right, so a power supply like this might have a different switch like this one. Um, make sure you set it to 115 because if it's on a different frequency, you won't get any power at all. And that has happened to me before. That has happened to me before. So don't, don't make the same mistake, okay? <laughs> Anyways, all right, so as you can see, this one does not have that switch. So set this to on, which is one. Back there. Sorry to plug in. Let me plug my keyboard in. Okay. And hit the power button. Nothing. Alright. Nothing. Okay. Alright, so no power. Sometimes you can pull the power button down a little bit and see. So there's no power, okay. All right, so now we're gonna have to take it a little bit further. We're gonna have to actually open the computer and check on the inside to see if uh, all the cables are connected properly. So we're gonna get right into that. All right, before opening your PC, you wanna make sure that you turn off the power supply, remove your power cable. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the side panel. All right, let's take a look inside. Hopefully it's bright enough for you to see. All right, so in this case, in fact, let me put it like that way. In this case, uh, with most power supplies at least, um, you'll have the 24 pin that runs to the motherboard right here. And then you'll have another pin over here, which is your CPU power. Make sure that is plugged in too. Because if none of these cable, one and two, this one, and this one is not plugged in. You won't get any power at all to the computer. Any power at all. But you might actually, you will get power, but you'll get a black screen. So you you turn your PC on, the fans will spin, everything will like light up, but then you'll get no display on the screen. So make sure you put this in, that in, should be good. All right, so looking in here, it seems like the 24 pin is connected properly. The CPU power pin is connected properly too. It's a little bit dusty in here, just a tad bit. All right, so the next thing, aha. All right, so if you look closely down here, if you look closely, you'll notice that there's some pins down here that is not connected. All right, so that might be the issue. Uh, we got the power switch cable right there, which should be connected. 
but we need to look up where on this motherboard it's supposed to be connected. All right, I'm not so sure about this motherboard. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like look it up on the motherboard manual online to see where to connect those. All right, so I think I found the right one. Hopefully, uh, let's connect this back. All right, if you look very closely in here, if you can see that, I'm not sure if you can see that clearly, but you should see JT. PM1 right over there JTP M1 yeah so there's a on the manual there's um a couple slots you want to make sure that you you hit the right slot which is the power switch um slot um each motherboard will vary so make sure you look up what motherboard you got and um where you put that slot um put that cable in but anyways, we're gonna put this in and see if that is the issue. Make sure you turn it on. Get power. Nothing. Okay. All right. Just gonna make sure that I have the right slot here. Okay. So I think I did the wrong slot. It shouldn't have been JMP one. It should be JFP one. All right. Let me connect that. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know the lighting is kind of terrible in here. All right, so it's JFP1. Let's see. All right, and that did it. <laughs> okay, I, thought, I really thought it was JMP, JM, uh, JTPM1, but it's JF. Okay. <laughs> All right, so noted. Oh wow, we got signal. Okay, that's good. Okay, so in this case, it was a loose cable. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got visual. All right, so yeah, in this case, it was a faulty cable. Um, I'm not sure if he was like cleaning inside of it and like unplugged something by accident. <laughs> but in this case, that was the issue. So I hope that this helps you guys in some way. Next video coming soon. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys.